A parallelogram is a quadrilateral, and that means it, it's a polygon with four sides. And the opposite sides, both pairs of them, are going to be parallel. And of course, that means they never meet. They run neck and neck together like railroad tracks. So here's the challenge. Create one. This is much more fun and much more meaningful if you do it with some other people. So go grab your mom, your brother, your sister, your friends, whatever. Sit down at a piece of sit down at a table with a piece of paper, a ruler, a pencil, a pair of scissors. And using nothing but this definition, try and create a parallelogram and then cut it out. Now, we're going to let you stop the video for a moment while you go ahead and do this. Now, yours does not have to be the same as any of the other people you're working with. In fact, it's going to be much better if they aren't the same. All you have to do is make sure you have a four-sided figure, opposite sides are parallel. Go ahead and give it a try. They have to be like this. Right. They can or never like touch. Right. Like railroad tries. Okay, parallel means they're never, ever, ever going to touch. Once you're finished, you'll probably have something that looks a little bit like Susie. Now yours might be taller or wider or skinnier, but the opposite sides are going to be the same. As you can see on Susie, side SU is parallel to side YZ, and side SY is parallel to side UZ. She's got four sides, the opposite sides are parallel. So, Susie is a parallelogram. Now, the first thing we have to do is find the height of Susie. Now, the height of a parallelogram is, by definition, the perpendicular distance between two bases. Okay? So, we need to drop a line that is perpendicular from SU to YZ. Now, notice these sides here are not perpendicular to SU and ZY, so they cannot be considered the height. So we're going to have to do this a little bit differently. We're going to go ahead, and uh, I like to always start at a vertex and cut up through the figure. All right. You can use a protractor, but in this case I think I'm just going to use my eye. And I'm going to start down here at vertex Y, and I'm going to draw in at a 90 degree angle a dotted segment. And that segment, as you can see, 90 degree angle, that segment right there will represent the height of parallelogram Susie. So I'm going to put an H for height. Now, I measured between these two bases, so I'm going to label those with lowercase b, just so I know that those were the two bases I used um, to measure my height between. The other two sides in this particular case aren't really going to matter. Okay, 
Now, the next thing we need to do with our challenge is to take your scissors and go ahead and please cut along the dotted line. We literally want to cut off this height and you will have two separate pieces then. Okay, here she is. She's got the left side of her body ripped off now, but we haven't destroyed any of her area. She's still Susie, she's just been cut a little bit, okay? Now, we're gonna take this little piece right here. We've got a 90 degree angle down here, now we have a 90 degree angle up here. We're going to take this little piece and we're going to slide it over here. And now we'll have a 90 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle down here. So now we have a rectangle. Now, let's take a look here. Rectangle, the area of rectangles is quite easy to find. It's always just length times width. All right. Well, now let's take a look. For this new rectangle, the length is B, Susie's B, and the width is Susie's height. So, by George, by Jingo, this is always going to happen. The area of my Susie, my parallelogram Susie, is equal to her base simply times her height. Now, the trick is, what about yours? Yours is not the same shape as mine. You started out with your own unique shape. So after you've cut your little piece off by, by slicing off your dotted height, see if you can form a rectangle of your own. All right, so now you've all looked around, you've had a little bit of chance to play with this a bit, and you're seeing that indeed, you can start with any parallelogram as long as it meets the definition four sides with opposite sides parallel, you can always find a height, cut it off, and rearrange to create yourself a rectangle. Area is then just base times height.